Yes. All right. Hey there, this is Tanya Wright from MasterTheMontessoriLife.com, the place for Montessori lovers ready to make themselves centered, organized Montessori guides, nurture happy, normalized children, and create smooth, successful Montessori days. Let's get you closer to your transformation today. Welcome. All right, something happened today and I was muted for the intro, but that's all right. I'm just going to run it by quickly and tell you that I have two Facebook groups that you can join. And I am so excited that you joined Master the Montessori Live Show today. I am Tanya Wright, your coach, and uh, it is such a privilege to have you here. And I get to teach you today. So if you want to do more of a daily follow-up and things like that, and you're homeschooling, then join the Natural Homeschool community on Facebook. Just go to Facebook. The search window on the top left will send you right to the group. And if you want Montessori only, then please go to the Montessori Way Prep Room. And it will be all things Montessori there. So take note of those two groups. If you want to join any of the live trainings, uh, this is episode 47. So that means you have 46 trainings to catch up on if you haven't done any of them. And you can find them at masterthemontessorilife.com slash live dash trainings master the montessori life.com slash live dash trainings all right and th that will take you directly to all of the trainings that i do and then i want to invite you to the main website master the montessori life.com go peruse go take a look the home page is beautiful when you're done reading the home page then go to uh, the window that says blog and it will take you to the blog and that is where you're going to see all of the different topics that I have written about that you will benefit from and you can go to the about me window on the home page and learn more about me who I am and all the 16 years of training that I have done in Montessori and uh, my Montessori experience I mean and you can also go to the shop window and you will see all of the resources that are Montessori approved Montessori friendly uh, that will help you so much on your journey. So go to masterthemontessorilife.com today. Check it out. And one last thing is that we have a weekly email that we send out. No, we don't spam you. No, we don't give your information to other people. We just want to stay in the in communication with you for anything important that's going on. Maybe there is... Um, you know, a new article, a new resource, a new sale, a new anything that I want you to know about and I don't want you to miss out on. So I have your email and I send you the information there. So sign up to masterthemontessorylife.com slash emails or go to masterthemontessorylife.com homepage and there you will see a red window with the sign up there. So without further ado, now let's get started with our training. Today's training is what you have to know first when setting up your Montessori environment. All right. What you need to know first. I know that Montessori environments can be very intimidating. You are not alone. If you are feeling nervous or scared or not knowing what to do, how are you supposed to know what you need, what you don't need, and how to set it up? Well, I am so glad that you asked because that is exactly what this training is about. If you have been wondering how to move forward in setting up your Montessori environment but don't know how to do it right, then come to this training today. All right? Now, Let's get started with the first slide. 
Number one, you need to know that Montessori environments don't have to look a certain way. Let that sink in for a minute. Montessori environments don't have to look a certain way. The truth is that you can browse all day and all night at the most amazing and beautiful Montessori environments on Instagram or Pinterest, for example. This can have two effects on you. It can either inspire you and motivate you, which is a good thing, and get you started right away, but it can also deflate you and discourage you from wanting to do Montessori because you feel that it will be impossible for you to replicate the setups that you are looking at. But here's another truth. Montessori environments don't have to look a certain way. You make your environment the way that will work for you and the children that you are working with. See, Maria Montessori said, imagination does not become great until human beings, given the courage and strength, use it to create. So keep in mind that your Montessori setup doesn't have to look this way or that way. It must meet the needs of the children in your learning environment. If it doesn't, it can be the most beautiful place in the world but it will do nothing for children. Think practical with freedom of choice. Think orderly with structure and order. Think useful and child-friendly. Think inspirational with freedom of movement. Ooh, that right there. I gave you so much to think about already. And at the end of this training, I will give you the link to where you can see my notes and you can take a a look at um, these notes more closely and you can definitely turn around and get started today. Number two. You have to learn more about how to set up your Montessori environment. You have to learn more. Even if you think you know everything, you really do have to learn more and look at it from a different perspective. You are the Montessori guide, the teacher, the mastermind behind the entire Montessori classroom setup. The key to high quality Montessori learning is creating a space at home or at school and is to know how to do it right. You have to know how to do it right. Whether you are doing Montessori at home or at school, you need to know more about, you need to know more than knowing that you need shelves and original Montessori materials. Whether you are doing Montessori at home or at school, you need to know more than knowing that you need shelves and original Montessori materials. Maria Montessori said, our work is not to teach, but to help the absorbent mind in its work of development. How marvelous it would be if by our help, if by an intelligent treatment of a child, if by understanding the needs of his physical life and by feeding his intellect, we could prolong the period of functioning of the absorbent mind. So basically what she is saying is that we can prolong the period of functioning of the absorbent mind. And how do we do this? Well, like I mentioned before, you as the Montessori teacher will put in all of your effort and attention first on observing your children. And I will show you some resources on how to do that in the link I will give you at the end of the training. Next, you will determine their sensitive periods. 
And I teach more on that with the resource as well that I will link up in that uh, resource I'll give you at the end of the training. And finally, you will work at creating a Montessori environment completely customized to serve the children in your class. So don't, uh, don't think that you know everything because you are still feeling lost. You are still here wanting the training that tells me that you are not necessarily knowing everything. So be open-minded. Be open-minded to see and hear other perspectives, which brings me to an invitation that I want to give you right now. So I will see you in a little bit. Watch this. And I will give you the third thing that you need to know first when setting up your Montessori environment after this. Are you confused about how to set up your Montessori environment correctly? But why is it important to know how to in the first place? The truth is that it's more important than you think because if your Montessori environment isn't set up right, the curiosity and passion for learning won't be there. That's right. But what can you do? How can you learn? Easy. Join the three steps to organize your Montessori environment show in our with only 90 minutes of training and a free workbook. You will be able to go from this to this. Hi, I am Tanya and I teach Montessori lovers how to create smooth, successful Montessori days. Join the show in our today. Go to masterthemontessorilife.com slash show in our dash one. Go to masterthemontessorilife.com slash show in our dash one. All right. That was a mouthful. I know that that is a mouthful of a link, but... I have it in the resource that I will give you at the end of this training. So stay tuned. You will be able to sign up for free without any problems, right? I am so excited about that. Now, point number three, you don't have to own all of the Montessori materials out there to get started. And that is a fact. Whether you are focusing on fine motor skills, practical life, or anything that promotes independent learning, you can get very creative. You can use some original or handmade materials for several purposes. And this is one of my favorite things to teach my clients inside the Montessori Way Foundations Framework. Join the waitlist. I only open enrollment two or three times a year. So I want you to not miss out. Go to masterthemontessorilife.com slash TMWFF. That's masterthemontessorilife.com slash TMWFF. You join the waitlist there and I teach you everything there is to know about because I coach you so I can answer your questions about setting up the Montessori environment the right way. Maria Montessori said the environment must be rich in motives which lend interest to activity and invite the child to conduct his own experiences. See your goal is to make your environment Montessori friendly and affordable for you. The Montessori method isn't as hard and as expensive as you might think. Yes, it will require an investment, but it doesn't have to break the bank. Montessori educators that discover this, the fact that they can use the Montessori materials for various purposes, for various subjects and for various topics, feel so much freer to do more with less. So, Learn more about the environment set up in the showinar that I just showed you and then decide what materials you need to get. So let's go into the key takeaways. Know that Montessori environments don't have to look a certain way. You have to learn more about how to set up the Montessori environment. 
You don't have to own all of the Montessori materials out there to get started. And sign up for the free three steps to organize your Montessori environment show and I. Okay, join this show and I. So you can discover three easy ways to organize your Montessori environment, even when you don't have the Instagram worthy space. And it's a 90 minute training with a free workbook. It's a free training, free workbook, free everything. And I just want you to grow. I want you to be successful in your Montessori journey. So I'm going to give you the link on where to go to learn about all of the resources that I've been talking about and also for you to um, watch this training if you are not catching it live. So it's very simple. You have to go to masterthemontessorilife.com and get this link on the screen. It's very, very long, but if you are just listening, Go to masterthemontessorilife.com and in the search window, you're going to type setting up, setting up. And if you remember, you can even enter setting up your Montessori environment and you will get taken straight to today's training. You can watch the video, you can listen to the audio, you can get all of the resources right there. So you go to masterthemontessorilife.com and you search setting up on the search window on the top right, okay? And you will go straight to today's training. Yes, and that is it for today. There we go. There I am again. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am so excited that you made it. And I will see you next week with another awesome topic. Bye. I appreciate you sharing time with me today. You have tons of choices about what you're listening to. And I love that you chose Master the Montessori Life Show. Thank you. Well, that's it for today. Until next time, this is Tanya Wright with MasterTheMontessoriLife.com. I hope that you will take the time to digest the training to create solutions that will bring about smooth, successful Montessori days for you. Let's get you closer to that transformation today.